Welcome to another video. So this is the last part that I created in SOLIDWORKS and within this video we're gonna recreate this within Katia V5. So to get started I will go to mechanical design, generative sheet metal design and I will select the X and Y plane and I will define the following sketch so I can use the profile. Even if some of the lines are not perfectly aligned, for example, this should be vertical, we can do that afterwards with the line selected. We can put that vertical constraint. So now for the parameters, this should be 90, the vertical 60, over here another vertical segment should be 60. And we are also going to define an axis so we can have this mirror and I will make those two coincident and afterwards for the top segment I'm gonna add 30 millimeters so this will be half of that profile I'm gonna go for mirror select all of those and mirror them around the axis so as you can see with the mirror tool I need to select the lines within Katia and only afterwards go to mirror in order to have that work as intended we also had a cutout over here, so this will be the top cutout that we are currently going to create. I will position this to be at 10 and we'll have 20 by 20. So this will be a square in this case. I will also create those cutout circles, so I will use the last use command to rapidly draw those that second circle. From my point of view, we think Katia is a little bit harder to work than within SOLIDWORKS, mainly due to the fact that hotkeys are a little bit harder to set up and also to use. Over here I'm using a lot of CTRL plus uh, Y in order to repeat the last feature. I could also double click on uh, the constraint and that will allow me to add multiple constraints so both workflows will be good over here afterwards I will have those two circles selected mirror and have the mirror about the axis I also need to add the fillet so for those two elements the radius will be 5 and I want those lines to be trimmed the same over here on the top so again, I will press tab in order to jump within the sketch tools. And over here, again, I will set this to the radius of 5. So this will be our initial wall. So before we get started, we also need to configure over here the parameters. So for, for this part, I will go with 1.5 thickness. Default band radius, I will leave it at 3 for this. And afterwards, for the first element, we are going to define a wall. So have that wall selected, select the profile, and we're going to go with the material towards the upper side. Now, we should start having those sketch band. So within SOLIDWORKS, this was a feature uh, named sketched band. Within Katia, those will be band from flat. So before we get started, we also need to define the lines that will be used for those bands. So vertical line position at 10 millimeters. And afterwards, with that selected, I'm going to go for the band from flat. We see over here we have the fixed point. If I will go to the preview, by default, in this case, the fixed point will be selected fine for the alignment of the part, therefore I will just need to change the angle, so 135 in this case. Again with the mirror tool, just like within my last video from SOLIDWORKS, if you recall that video, it was this one. Within SOLIDWORKS, um, why is the mirror feature missing within sheet metal design? It's the same approach over here in Katia. So for example, if I will have this mirrored, we see the mirroring plane will be this one. 
this will mirror everything and also as you can see we have some errors that um, will appear over here so the same problem just like in solders if you check my my other video my previous video you're gonna see that um, this is the reason why we don't mainly use mirror over here therefore i will jump on the same plane and i will define a new line i will position this to be at 10 millimeters just like the last one and again i will go with bend from flat and in this case the same value for the angle 135 now for the upper part we're gonna have the same bend from flat let me also position that because i just created um, a random line there so I have that constraint at 10 millimeters and afterwards we can go with bend from flat and in this case you're gonna see that the fixed point was selected over here as you can see with the black arrow mark over there and this is not what we intend therefore i will have this recreated so i'll go for blend bend from flat i will go for the fixed point and i will select um, for example that point since this is between the bottom section now if i will go with the profile with the line we're gonna see that our part will rotate as intended within the previously designed part one of the main drawbacks is that over here within sketch from band in solidors we have the possibility to go and change the default radius so over here i decided to add five but as you can see within Katia the radius is locked over here so we could open a dialog and have that um, being um, an equation but it still will be grayed out so this will read the default band radius from, uh, from the parameters over here that we previously defined so this is a, a drawback within Katia Within the previous sketch, we also had that middle cutout, so let me add that as well. So this should be 25 and have it constrained at 25. So this will act the same over here as we can see. And now we have to add the fillet. We're gonna find the fillet over here directly. Over here is called corner. And the functionality will be the same as the one from SOLIDWORKS. So we can round that, let's say, to 6. And that should be rounded. And now if I will go with fold and fold, those will all work together. Now the tricky part in Katia is regarding the um, gosset, as you can see over here. You can find that in Katia underneath the stamping and it will be called stiffening rib. And one of the problem with this feature is that it's not very intuitive. For example, we see that we are asked to indicate a position on a cylindrical surface. So for example, if I will zoom in over here because I want the gusset to be over here, I will see that the selected surface must be the external surface of the body it must be a cylindric surface so the main problem is that you always have to rotate and uh, position it on the other side so this is quite weird so you can't position it on the inside and we're gonna see how that gusset will appear if i will click ok it will be positioned like that but now if i will um, want to have that aligned i will need to position this point so i can center that i can add various dimensions i can also enable shaded edges in order to better have it aligned so we see over here that this should be if i'm going to position it at 1.5 all the way over here we're going to ha only have a 0 7 so i'm just going to add this to 1 but 
again the comparison with SOLIDWORKS is that over here if I want to add that gusset I can just go um, over here I can go add the gusset and if I will rotate I can position it by default over here which is normal and um, default but I can also add it over here so if I will select those two we're gonna see how that will will work as well so overall in my opinion SOLIDWORKS is a lot more user friendly for this also we have the possibility if you couldn't mirror the sketch band over here we have the possibility to use mirror and make use of a face in this case which is that one in order to mirror that feature let's see if i would add a plane within solidworks this will also work so for the mirroring tool we don't need um, a specific face on the part we can also use those if we are going to mirror a feature in this case a gusset over here in Katia, if I would try to have that stiffening rib uh, mirrored, we have the possibility to go for the mirror, and we have the mirroring plane, which we know is the middle one. And as you can see over here, the element to mirror, this will go by default to the current body, and I don't have the possibility to have that change to a specific feature, in this case only for the stiffening rib. And again, if I will try to have this preview, this will have some um, problems, especially with the tear face. So this is also not um, not working. Therefore, if I should add another gusset over here, I need to firstly I need to properly align because, just like I said previously, this is counterintuitive. If I will select this, this will just be an error. But on the back side, if I will click that it will um, will work as you can see over here within the um, gusset definition we have the two radius just like within solidworks we have the the angle which is indicated over here on the 2d drawing and we also have the length of that while within solidworks we have uh, a lot more options with this firstly we have the positioning which is the offset for that Afterwards, the indent, indent uh, depth, we have the profile dimension. And um, we can also decide to make a flat, um, a flat gusset over here if you want to. And underneath, we're going to have those, those elements. As we can see, we have the inner corner, the outer corner, but overall, a lot more functionality within SOLIDWORKS compared to, to Katia for this. Okay, so this is the case study part. Within my previous video I also had this translated from SOLIDWORKS to Katia and converted that as an editable. And um, as you know there are some problems, so mainly the gusset will not translate, therefore it's a little, uh, let's say it's better only have the, um, the profile recognize and define and afterwards add the, the gussets which are called stiffening ribs in Katia added okay so I hope that you find this video useful let me know in the comment section what is your go-to software when you're doing, dealing with um, sheet metal design because I'm really curious of that and uh, I will position a similar video over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right. Thanks for watching.